What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of the My Empire Dead or War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, we're starting to pick apart some of the British troops that hold uh, the remainder of the British Isles and we're clearing our territory. So we've got this force under Ivan Bering, which is actually pretty good. It's got a reasonable amount of artillery, it's got a good amount of cavalry, and it's got a good mix of useful infantry, including uh, raw marines with their volley guns, which you never really see. This is a pretty decent army. Uh, fortunately, it will not help them. So once you destroy this army, it will probably fall back west. So we'll need to keep a west into Devon and Cornwall. And we will need to keep an army here to make sure they don't sally out and head east again. But that's okay. We can afford to keep one army down here and pursue them and destroy them um, in a future turn. So we've got this fight to do next turn, we'll be able to fight the army in Wales, but then we'll start to consolidate our front and push north. Rain. Well, our artillery is going to go up on the higher ground and focus on counter-battery fire. We're going to need to be a bit clever, because their infantry is just so good. I think the way to do it is to surround them. Surround them and engulf them. Our cavalry um, is going to effectively... That's the general's bodyguard, but the general died. Our cavalry is going to generally be very... Just counter-cavalry. The human and Limbus. So yeah, you guys focus on the light horse artillery our, our winning strategy I think is to advance and surround the enemy with fire from all sides push 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 we've destroyed a building this horse artillery team's only got one gun. This horse artillery team is very badly positioned, only they've got a small chapel in the way, which they're going to have to destroy. In which case, then, we can start to direct our guns to aim at other targets. Just start pounding their infantry. So we're going to push up another level. I'm going to make sure we are fully New men form square because the cavalry's coming. You may have halt. There's a unit of Curacier coming in. Keep the Sapahi close. You can push up. Oh, these are Kizilbashi. They just gunned down my Marines. But that heavy cavalry is shattered. Kizilbashi push up. Engage the General's bodyguard. This General's bodyguard try and intercept the Cavalry on the flank, infantry push up to the high ground. There we go, and now battle is being joined. But I think we're mostly engaging troops and dug in positions. Let's give them some artillery support. So you're engaging the drummer's bodyguard. Go get them, go get them, elephants. I'll bring the Kizilbashi back when they are done killing the general. The left flank is a bit more flexible. Slowly advance with our contingents. Oh no, Curacier here. Pull the Kizilbashi back into the square. Bring my Kizilbashi back over here. I need him to help with the Dragoons. Let this infantry square try and hold against all comers. 
they can hold position. If they can hold the square, they'll do really well. They just have to hold it. Oh no, you guys are running the front way. And they're going to break and run for sure. So Pahi are going to run in and smack the flank of these Western European mercenaries. Keep the square. Retarget my artillery into the block. Just keep holding the square. If I can get any mercenaries here, they can provide some supplementary firepower. Deal with the Light Dragoons. Okay, the left flank of my line can now push up more aggressively. Make sure they are pounding targets. Starting to charge in. I mean, they are Swiss Grenadiers, it is very much their MO. They're going to come in, they're going to hit our line now. They are being shot at. Yeah, he's just the sound bugging out. You men engage the Royal Marines. These Marines, Swiss infantry. Get my Kizobashi up here. Fire it well on. If you want to put a volley into the cuirassier, you are you are encouraged to do so. Especially as it shattered them. These mercenaries have done a superb job. Take the high ground. Because your bashi and elephants push up. Elephants can get in on the marines as well. These guys aren't going to be around for very long. They're going to be surrounded by musketry on multiple sides. Yep, here it comes. Volley fire present. Okay, let's focus the artillery here, because this is the main centre of gravity for them. Hey, sounds. Ah, oh, just the one sound. Cavalry in against the general's bodyguard. There we go, lots of artillery coming in. Now the musketry is kicking off. Push my Kizobashi cavalry forward. You're all in good position to engage from up here, but you've already fired, so let's push it down. Pursue the general's bodyguard, Sipahi. There we go, now their cracks are starting to show. So, 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 so. Just keep my kids up actually out of the main action. It's, it's really weird how sound, how the rain, particularly, makes it so, is so it's such an unpredictable effect on the sound. Because look, I've done nothing, but suddenly, ooh, now you can hear things. Ooh. Go for the twelfth line, twelfth foot guards. She try to go after. Engaging this poor unit of Swiss line. There you go, 
engage the infantry guards. Three left. Two. Just kill him. There we go. All the artillery. Focus on the Irish volunteers. You know, to be honest, just start to push forward right up into them. You go after, get into that combat with the Marines. Uh, regular Marines, prioritize the regular Marines over the ones with the not volley gun. Because the volley gun is only short range. Now we need to start isolating this single infantry formation. But it looks like, for the most part, they're going to be going down big time. Push all my guns over to engage. Oh no, they're gone. Are going to continue. Here's my Sapakia. The units of Marines. And militia. Swiss Guards. Focus on the Swiss Guards. Now yeah, these ones are spread out. So they could cause us some problems. So if you go over here and then try get them. Good, you did get them. Let no man escape as much as we can. Excellent. And go over here. But they're, they're not your priority. They're not a priority, really. Come on. Chow down on your on these troops. There you go. Now they've pathfinded like a beast, but they are going to escape. Curses. Still, that was a good victory. We bashed a full strength British army to pieces. Oh, they lost. They've only got 400 men remaining. So this army can protect the southern flank. This army can position round, ready to attack this army. Although it's not quite as powerful as the last one. And then in time, these three armies can... Well, we all need to generally form more of a front line and squash or squeeze Edinburgh. I mean, it's handy these guys have pushed up. If we can, we might just run straight up and take it. Uh, but we may not be able to do that. Um, okie dokie. So, how's everyone else doing? You're replenishing. The Huron are doing okay. Let's get you guys to squeeze Niagara. You're probably going to go for a Blitzkrieg up to Montreal. When you're done, you're probably going to loop around and threaten the, the, the Huron from the east. We've got troops advancing on Plains Nations peoples. Uh, let's get you guys involved as well. Oh no, we don't, no, 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 we don't declare war on them, not just yet. Okay, we do have another battle ready to go though. We have to, well we have engulfed. 13 colonies have fallen back to Falmouth, but they do not have the strength to hold it. We will take it into our own. Yeah, we're very close. Very close to the end of this campaign.
got a number of cities to take still, but what? Probably less than 10 for sure. We just have to push the enemy back. We definitely won't, we, well, we definitely, we may want to take out Britain before we advance on Quebec because they've got a lot of troops in the wilderness in the north. Sat there doing nothing. Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's get the guns set up. Everyone's ready. Let's get my fellow musketeers. They are going to mass on the left. Melee troops just chill out behind the line. Okay. We are going to focus on... Oh. Take command of certain key features. The advantage of doing this is if we do want to try and push through our line, we got a whole bunch of melee troops ready to squash them. And then the Feline Musketeers that just aren't super they're not super great. But in numbers, they'll do just fine, especially against weak units like this. Let's retarget the guns to make sure they're just shooting something that's worth shooting, not these not these pop guns. Ooh, they've got one gun away. Missed! Ooh, tribal auxiliary. Old, you'll get swamped regardless. I don't care about you. Go get him. Now the fellas with axes have something to say about this. through see they say winning decisively decisively what they actually mean is losing as these guys march down the valley of the shadow of death Here. I mean, you guys. Uh, one of you may be useful. Get our bulk push through. Who's that? Feline push through. Although they might not be required, they are being engaged by our infantry. Right. Stay where you are. Advance and be recognised. Yeah, and these men are all in a cauldron. Smash the marines with two artillery pieces and killing their own men. Lots of artillery power in the centre. I mean, these might only be militia, but we've got a we got lots of them. I mean, we don't we don't haven't really used. Feline Musketeers before. And 
the enemy does not want us to use them either. So they are now falling back. Now yeah, to the centre of their formation is advanced. Pelayin chased down the horse artillery. Rangers are broken. Hessian line shattered. Make sure you men are engaging with your prime musketry. Excellent. Chase them off. See the colonial lines being engaged. And this is to really push up, that'll give us some extra firepower, although they are tired. I mean, they are being quite resilient. You guys have... They learned, the Fellaini have messed this up. I gave them an order to engage and they decided to just kind of run around here. Oh, they almost made it to our lines, but now they're falling back. 5th, 4th, 26th. Advance. Oh, look at these guys. Where were they going? They're running this way. Are they going to do that? The target the guns. Time's right, we will counterattack through the town. We can support our flanking troops, although that time is going to be now. Push through. Melee combat should not be feared, it should be welcomed. You guys are going to be in reserve. Kalyin can get over here and flank the militia. Garrison militia is being beaten by my glorious Falaeen. Yeah, the, the last strength they have is, is held by these marines. behind. You men should be panicked. God, that's 110 men gone already. Excellent. and these men to go get the German's bodyguard. Oh, they're all that's left. Clear the town. That's right, you failed to defend the town. Now give yourself up. Or effectively die in glorious battle you dare to go be captured and taken prisoner. There you are. for a second there. We got him. Infantry, I think we got a job to do, Buster. Heal this town. Yeah, you better run. Your general's dead. Good, good, good. 
nice. So that's one more 13 colonies territory taken. The city of Falmouth is ours. Let's fortify it for no other reason that we have the money. Get the roads upgraded, upgrade the port. Eee, they're starting to grow. 6%. 6% growth. 2,000 people, so it's going to take them a bit of time. Right, so you're replenishing, you're replenishing you, however. You can engage Woodstock, the Woodstock farm clearances and clear out this 13 colonies army. So they've got Annapolis and Philadelphia left to defend before they collapse, before they are destroyed, before they are removed from the world. And we take our place as the dominant power in the world. I mean, so this is an exact prime reason why I would love, 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 love a uh, Victoria Total War. Because, okay, right, first of all, I am 100% not denying that Britain did some heinous stuff around the world. However, I think that era epitomizes the total war mindset in a way that... I was going to say it's more directly relevant to the way we live today, or it, it's a, it directly influences the way things are today, in my opinion. I mean, if, if people disagree, that's, that's all well enough, that's fine. But I think it's it would be really interesting to be able to do that. But the problem is, as a corporation, they need to sign off on, hey, we're going to make a game that does terrible things. And not like, you know, um, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, where people, well, I think it was Greenpeace, complained at them for saying, oh, they've got whaling, isn't that terrible? And you go, yes, whaling's a bad practice, but let's not pretend that we're offending whales here by doing that. I mean, it's terrible, and we definitely shouldn't do it, and we're going to use Japan, but I think that's a bit different than, you know, we're going to send troops to this part of the world. Why? To colonise it and to effectively implement racial policies. And you start to get into that in empire because you're building plantations, but there's no direct reference to slavery, but you are building plantations, so that's kind of what you're doing. And you are incentivized to do so. Anyway, kind of gone off topic here. Well, sort of on topic, but yeah. That's their army. Look at it. And they don't know that over the crest of the hill there's going to be thousands of Mysorean troops. Go get them. It's probably another name. More native units? More hidden units around here, maybe? They do like to cluster them. Are there any rangers? My light cavalry would do that, man. You guys get up to the rock. You guys flank around the rock. You guys, you guys as well advance like so. It looks like they're running. I mean, we could like that's a good that wouldn't be a terrible position for our guns to fire down onto the enemy but they're probably not going to make it get my skirmishes up just to shoot arrows into them push my native lances forward keep most of my cavalry back here Of truth, so there's 110 of them. There won't be 110 for long. Except for you. Yeah, these men are attacking the native warriors. 
You may be brave Native American troops, however, we, our muskets still do pretty good in melee combat. Absolute carnage. The units are packing up here because it looks like they're going to try and break out through this gap. And also, my cavalry can't shoot. They're just going to sit here, sit here and watch while I get my packing out, get my more of my cavalry in because they have bows at least. They can get involved. Your lances for you, men. They're standing quite well. Whoops, sneezing coming. Apologies. Yeah, they stood quite well in the middle of that cauldron. Break off attack! The Marines are holding firm, even they can't stand forever against this. We could watch, we could slaughter them as they run through our lines, but we've taken a city, they're all destroyed anyway. Oh, no, we aren't. Oh, nuts. Oh, well. Either way. 65 men remain. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, they got destroyed anyway. Phew. Excellent. So, Annapolis will soon be taken. Philadelphia will be threatened from the north once some of our terror armies have uh, replenished. Because I don't really want to move them out of Albany. Not until these guys are threatening the aircraft from the west. But I think, largely, that is everything done. So, yeah, those are all those British troops just hiding in the trees. They've got lots of troops advancing on Quebec. You don't need to blockade that anymore. Let's get you into here. I mean, 13 colonies are in it, but we don't really care about them anymore. What are your roads? You are being upgraded. You need to push up. Good. There's no research and tech. Let's hit in turn. I mean, I think a lot of these armies are not going to be used. Because <laughs> they are very much not required. Oh, Brit, Brit, Brit. What are you doing? Uh, you're blockading something. A poor old sloop. You can blockade or raid the Bahamas as much as you like. Fill your boots. Opportunity to intercept. Nah. Nah. Consolidate around your territories, damn it. Peace? No, Francis Nicholson. No peace. Ah, the Huron are counterattacking, eh? Well, they'd wish to counterattack. Quebec is sending troops over the river to maintain a foothold, but it will not be enough. These guys are going to push down, push them back over the river. I mean, you, so many of these guys just 
aren't going to be needed. Like, yeah, you're going to get on board. You're going to get on board these, all of these ships, because... Why the hell not? Fleet destroyed. Fort blockaded. Fort blockaded. Construction. Good, good, good. So can you guys leave Texas if you guys hop in? Yeah, it's perfect. You men can also join the attack on the planes, the Black Hills peoples. There we go, it's starting to convert the people of Richmond. You guys hop back in. 2% a turn, that's not bad. Yeah, lots of lots of our uh, troops we're not actually going to use anymore. They are not required. They aren't required, and we don't need the money that we would get from disbanding them either. Good, good, good. We do have two more armies. So because Britain, the British fleet is not going an area of control, let's take a punt. Let's see if we can just sail them in. I mean, if they can't, we'll just land them off the coast somewhere. It's not a problem, but because it's not showing a red area... Ah, they are. Retreat. That army's probably going to die. Are you 100% going to die? Unless... Stop moving. You guys land over here. Uh, you, if you guys were repaired, that would have been ideal. Though I should have actually paid attention to where they went. Because it wasn't here. I don't know, was it here? It may have been. Yeah, I think it might have been because they've... Yeah, it may well have been because they haven't... Um... They've got no movement zone. Cool. Yeah, you've landed your troops off of the coast. So you can move around ready to head off the Huron. You get ready just to head south and just put them under pressure. You head to Montreal. You leave, you can. Cross in. Head, head against the Huron from the west. Ooh, significant conversion rates. Right. So you're going to go after Annapolis. Demand the surrender of the town. That's unfortunate. We have to actually fight it. Your Majesty. Two uh, percent. You'll be okay, especially if I recruit some two thingy or one, one public order. You're within range of Philadelphia. I mean, we could just end this in one fell swoop. I think I might have to put I'll put Philadelphia under siege. Oh, especially because it's got no one in it. Okay, right. You, man. Oh, it's the Philadelphia garrison coming to help. Okay. In which case, then, I might auto that. We'll take a load of losses that we don't need to take. Because that's not the battle we want to see for in this episode. Just give everyone a little bit more replenishment. This is the one we want to see. Let's go after Philadelphia with Leonard Bentham. Plenty of 
other units coming in in reserve. Let's just make sure that we're not getting any artillery in for a while. Good. Let's attack the seat of 13 colonies power. And that will destroy them for good. And then it will just be an inevitable surge on towards the Iroquois to the Quebec Quebec Quebecois and the Black Hills peoples in the west. Swordsman plus two assault units. Swordsman plus two assault units. One flanking brigade. Another, I mean, I'm very loose with all I term brig brigades. You men will try and take the central defences. Plaguemen will hold in the centre, although they are going to be the target for enemy artillery fire and everything. Smash him in. No, don't go for the center like you wanted to. Oh, you know what? What the hell? There's so few of them anyway. Push these units up in preparation. Push these units up in preparation at scaling the wall. Send in my decoy pikemen. You have killed a couple of musketeers. Cannonballs in the back will do that. Close the shooting range. Oh, the two leading swordsmen that are out front. They got taken out. Fifty-one percent. So do the same again. These guys might take a bit of fire from the walls. Quick climb, They're attacking their own guys with quick climb. Set. Close to shooting range. You guys should particularly be upset because you want to be attacked by a Hindu musketeer unit and an Islamic swordsman unit. How about you? Oh, chug a lag. Chug city. It's only going to get worse.
give all the cavalry orders to run in. Everyone orders to run in. Because mass, when blocking a breach, mass is important. You men stab the mercenaries in the back. I mean, what is so all of that coming from? I mean, that so I was having swordsmen may are wavering, or well, they were wavering because of the enemy artillery. But this is going to be the one that's causing the problems. And now you men limber up. Yeah, they've not got the mass to stop us from just pouring in. So new men secure that gate. These Hindi musketeers, Hindi musketeers that they got out, they need to push out from the breach and provide a blocking force for this native foot warrior unit. So, is it you guys causing all the trouble? Because they're charging into the corners, that normally happens. Well, that normally causes problems when that happens. See, so you're not. You have an order. But you weren't following it. Because you need to attack the armed um, citizen. Uh, the, attack the um, native warriors so that we can get out of the breach. Other than that, these two units are going down. You're scaling the wall in good order. Dervishes have put their lines up. You men withdraw. Let's try run some camel nomads up here rather than engaging. Kill them. Don't let them. We, we need to just kill units. They're running out to try and attack us because these guys aren't getting up on the wall. This game is so screwed at times. Alert, they, are, they have orders to get up here and run over here but no they're going to sit here be charged by the cavalry screw them let them die plenty more where they came from quick line coming in I heard it come in oh they're going off yeah so look, they're still going after my pikes even though there's a massive block of my troops right here you guys aren't attacking either finally And you guys want to do the silly thing? Attack, plan your light cavalry on foot. This game's so screwed at times. Well, this is with a. But look, I've given them an. Oh, God's sake, I've given them an order, and they they're gonna just run into here rather than climb up the wall and attack them, which is what they should do. I think because it when it goes all stuttery like this, they just stop. They just don't do their orders. Like look, they got up here, didn't throw the didn't throw the um the hooks. Oh they oh, they're about to then. Alright then, let's pull a load of my guys out then.
people don't really want to fight. have the breach we still can't really make any it's just too congested and see the point of you guys was to secure this wall secure this gate so their reinforcements couldn't come in to help out but because they elected to not do that guys are going to do it. Which you men might go down here to just face off with anyone who might try. Although it would appear that we now can just run past. Smack the mercenaries. Get the general. This camel no magic can just get over on the square. The cavalry are finally retreating. See, look, now they're gonna, now they're, gonna they're gonna climb down and engage the general, and you think, well, good job I've got another unit here that can secure the gate, otherwise things would look mighty stupid then run over and secure the top one that's going to cause problems of its own because they're going to try to run through the gate that we now own they're trying to fight men off, coming off of the wall but don't do that, go for the general don't worry about the guys in here it's the swordsmen they're trying to deal with Oh no, you don't. Okay, if you guys go up to the artillery. Swordsmen cover the breach. Well, because you've got one swordsman to come through, unless he dies. Gate is open for interference. Although he's killed a general bodyguard staff. Let the swordsmen hack their way through these guys. These guys are climbing off of the ladders, off of the wall. These guys aren't following our orders either. Well, they are. They're just doing a really doing a really bad way. Send more men into the breach, but my game, this this system cannot handle it. Empire Door cannot handle lots of people going into the breach, even with a <clears throat> RTX 3700 and a 3080. That is still too much <laughs> too much tasking. Well, like, these guys are still being interrupted by man in the breach, so I've given them Camel's orders to run away, but they're still just bogged down trying to get through.
Come on, man, take that hit. Well, that's not super necessary now. Yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna get bogged down fighting over here. Fifteen seconds to go. Good. We killed their general. He's in here somewhere. Then again, they might have a few general's bodyguards. Okay, the door's now closed. One musketeer down here. Oh, no, they're open again. Oh, because he was probably trying to get through. Either way. God, that was a pain. Yeah, you need how it says you need quick climb to thin these things out, otherwise they can go wrong. But there we go. Philadelphia is ours. They don't actually mind that much. Let's get our buildings repaired. So we dealt with you, you, you dealt with all our fleet stuff and our building stuff. Marilyn was taken. Drillmaster and Fur Trapper for Chatrapati. But still, nice, 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 nice. You're being replenished. Now it's onward to the Iroquois Territory. Push up ahead of them. Your Majesty. Just push all my troops through. Because they're going to want to either push up through the Cherokee territory or push up towards in the north. You men just smash Jean Baptiste Folion. Yeah, just his guys across the river. They might not be able to cross the river if they if the fleets are here. Uh, but even if we can't, we can just cross to the south because that's not a protected crossing. We're already over it here, over the river here. Um, you're already to push. Yeah, this this is a this port is now ours, or it was ours before. Yeah, I don't want to fight that. I want to... Actually, to be honest, I should just do it now. As we're in the Americas, and we've not got a huge amount of time left, let's knock out Niagara. Then we'll head over back to Europe to fight some more battles. Or to tee up some battles ready to fight for the next episode. Artillery is going to be... Well, we're going to storm up to the... Actually, make sure we don't have the mercenary selected. Storm up ahead of the artillery. Secure the downward slope of the hill so I can form my guns behind us. That sounds like a good plan. Keep the cavalry more central so we know what we're going to do with them. We want to push down the hill so our guns on top of the hill have more to do. Dispatch two units wide left. Dispatch some units wide right. Mercy is going to be on the downward slopes. So they're a bit alone, but they're going to be more methodical. Advise doing that for too long, Buster. We got plenty of artillery. Let's stretch the line out a little bit more. We've got lots lots of muskets. Divvy up our melee troops a bit better. And a native bowman auxiliary. And 
some logged trees. There they are. First, first sighting. They're gonna be. There's gonna be more of them where, where that came from. Show our strength. Really, that's a key terrain feature. Get ready for melee attacks, though. Somewhat higher ground, you can at least see them to shoot at them. You men go off the chief's bodyguard. Nope, they don't like it. Ah, that's where they all are, eh? Unlimber the guns. Those guns up. We have found them. Let's create our killing zone. No cover, don't shoot them, push the bowmen. Is only engaging the bowmen. That's pretty good. Let's keep on going. Get ready to shoot. Here comes the artillery. Get in there, lancers. Oh, you need that break. Oh, there we go. Where's that dang chief? All my gunners engage the chief. in the camels, they've got their guns. Now they're gonna run. Hey, you better run. Nice, nice, nice. Smash. Niagara is ours. Upgrade the traffic post, destroy these native buildings, plus destroy the native farmland. Upgrade the roads. Upgrade. Yeah, both research buildings, but they don't need any more of those. <clears throat> We're going to do all the thinking for them, and we've done all the thinking there is in the world. So you guys have all moved back over to Britain. Yeah, you can just destroy that formation here. Repair the farm. Replenish and get back up. 
Um, but yeah, depending on... Well, I was going to say, depending on how far you guys can reach, you might be able to jump on Edinburgh in one shot. You're going to stay reinforcing, but you're going to bottle these guys up in... in, uh, in Wales. Let's just push force this navy out, and then we'll just auto them, because that's just... yeah. Squash. You may advance. The new men are ready. You're going to jump onto Newcastle. That's going to be an auto, isn't it? It's not really a action to worry about. Replenish. Yeah, you guys head back up to the north. Yes. You men are gonna. Then I wonder if I'll intercept. No. We could naval invade, but all they would do is land and be ready to jump out next turn. Or we could have land. We could land them here and then run them up. Although you're within range. No, not. No, no, no. We'll do it next turn. That's fine. Are other are there other invasion troops are getting into position. Some of them have no purpose at all. Hey, they're going to attack us. Well, we, we can intercept them, and yes, we will do that because that will be you guys plus you guys plus four units. I wonder, I, I, it's this army that's the curious one, where they've come from. But yeah, I'll do that, what the hell. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for uh, the, <laughs> the warm-up act for the destruction of Great Britain. Cheers, everyone.